Go to any high traffic bathroom. It must be a high traffic bathroom. Otherwise, the room won't have enough latest residential energy to carry out the task. A hotel bathroom is perfect. Make sure it's after 12 a.m. And make sure you have two clove cigarettes. The stronger the cigarette, the higher success rate is. Sit in the dark and begin smoking one of the cigarettes. Make sure there is a mirror present and that you look at your reflection at all times. The burning cherry should provide just enough light for this. When you smoke the cigarette within a one-fourth of a filter, the room should be full of smoke. Your eyes will no doubt be watering, but don't blink. Don't take your eyes off the reflection, whatever you do. To blink will make all that you have done to this point for naught. You'll begin to notice your reflection will begin to fade into the black. The reflection of the cherry from your cigarette will, will begin to separate into two red eyes. The smoke in the room will begin to condense. And before you realize it's happened, a shade will be sitting on the ledge of the sink. He will ask you for a cigarette, which is why you're instructed to bring two. Give the shade a cigarette, which will light itself once he brings it to his withered lips. At this point, you can ask the shade any question you want. He'll answer true. You can ask who shot JFK. Or who Jack the Ripper really was. Anything you can possibly think of. Be sure to keep on how much of the cigarette he smoked. When it gets to the point where it will take only a few more hits to kill. The smoke from the other cigarette will begin to define more of its features. Making it more material than ethereal. At this point, stand up and snatch out his eyes in, w in one sweeping motion. He should still be mostly smoke, so your hand should pass easily through his head. If not, we'll get to that later. If you let him finish his cigarette, though, he will attack you, surely taking your life in the process. The shade will begin screaming and cursing you, and the hand holding his eyes will be burning intensely. Do not open your hand! Even though his eyes are disembodied, they can still see if they are out in the open. Run to the light and switch it and flip it on. This will banish the shade's physical form and send him back into the ether. Leave the room... And wait till 3 a.m. to open your hand. The burning will be unbearable until then. But to open your hand before 3 a.m. will blow out all the lights in your hotel room. Allowing the shade to return and seek his vengeance. You will have four burn marks on your palm when you open it. All categorized, of course. And mostly healed. From then on, you can never be in the dark room with a mirror because the shade will be able to track you through the burns in your hand. He'll have black hell dogs now, given his loss of sight, and they are far more terrible than a sh the shade could ever be. The number of hell dogs depends on the strength of the shade you, you make contact with. After this, you always be cold, no matter how warm it is, and be given the ability to perform minor miracles. Your dreams will always be nightmares, but in turn, you'll be granted a kind of third sight. You'll never be able to see anything good, and only the most horrific future events. And these events will only be known to you at the point to where you can't do anything to stop them. <laughs> it's a small price to pay for absolute knowledge. <laughs>